Hey everyone, I'm going to be showing you how to add custom camos to your Spartans uh, or even your weapons if you want, but I won't show you doing weapons. I'm going to be focusing solely on the Spartans. Um, so the first thing you'll need is the Spartan Pack 2. and You can get it from the Halo Archive. It's our Discord group. It's got a bunch of content creators and modders and people from all across the Halo community um, who like to set things up for people and use these for fun uh, nonprofit projects. Uh, so, okay, so to get started, you'll get the Spartan Pack 2, which I show how to download in a previous video. And then you're going to want to find uh, on Google some sort of grayscale camo pattern. Uh, I chose this one, found it here, open link in a new tab. Okay, once you have this, you can just save the image. Once you have the image, you can get started. So I will open Blender, and I will go to my blend file. Here he is. Turn on textures here. We'll go to shading. Make sure you're in object mode. You can start on the helmet. So let's say we want to pick a different helmet out. We'll change it up. We'll watch. Uh, let's see here. Not soldier. Trailblazer. War master. Sure. Let's go for war master. We will. Uh, Choose a different torso attachment here. Sure, we'll get a little bandolier going. All right, so to get started, you will click on the head. You'll see this gigantic shader here. And a good indication of, of uh, what part you're going to change is the colored spots. So like this helmet is blue, and I want the blue parts, right, to be camo patterned. Okay, so I'm going to add. I'll go to texture, image texture drag it in. Okay. I will click open. I will find my thing I found. I believe this is it. Okay. So this is my grayscale camo pattern that I got from here. Okay. And I will go to add converter color ramp. Okay. And I will connect the color node to that into the fact node. And then I will take this color node and drag it into all of these up here, okay? And this will override the base color and make it a pattern instead. As you can see, you can um, already see the camo. And so what this does is it actually converts grayscale images, which this is, and then converts it into different colors here. So basically, uh, this is black and this is white. So anything black on this image, right? So anything darker colored, like the, these spots, will be turned into something. And anything on the lighter spectrum was, is going to color these zones. And anything in between, you can have multiple if you really want to, um, are going to get involved in there. So you can basically click a couple more times. Let's say you want to click a couple there. There you go. All right. You're going to want, because this is pretty dark over here. All right. Now let's say you wanted the dark parts, right? What do you want the dark parts to be? Well, let's say um, red. You want the dark parts in, the, in this image right here to be red. You can change this color closest to the left side to be red. This side here, you can make, maybe make it like, a, um, I don't know, blue. And if you notice, it's kind of, it's like blending the two, right? And so what you can do is you can kind of, uh, move it around a little bit, and that's going to be different zones, right? And so if you want it to be different amounts and like bleed, like I want these to be like really close together in color. I want these colors to basically merge together, or you can kind of play around with it and get like, oh, okay, so the red and the orange are actually a little bit more separated now, okay? And let's say I wanted this here to be like, I don't know, it's going to look really ugly right now, but... It's fine. Be blue. Okay, it's kind of bleeding with the orange a little bit. You can kind of tell once you get into a good spot, and it's like, okay, I'm targeting the correct zone. There. And this white spot still, let's say I want it to be green. Like that. And you can kind of drag and drop and move them around and just make some weird ass combinations if you want. Okay. Now, if you really wanted to go crazier with that, you can go to your edit mode. Preferences, add-ons, I believe it's come from everybody, Node Wrangler, and all of these. Check those on and close it. 
then you'll then click this, and hit Control T, and this will let you scale basically anything. So let's say you wanted to make it like smaller, you can then click and drag it, and it'll become really tight in the x direction. So let's say I wanted it five times smaller in the x direction and five times smaller in the y direction, and that way you have a tighter pattern now. All right? Alternatively, you could make it even smaller, you make or uh, bigger. I mean. And it looks, doesn't look very camo-y, but you know, you get the idea. Okay. So we can actually make it a little bit less ugly looking. We can remove that. Let's let's get a good uh, let's get a good red, maybe a uh, maybe a yellow. And maybe like a black, you know. Red, yellow, black color. Reminds me of uh, Rainbow Six Vegas too a little bit. It's like okay. There we go. So let's say you want this as your camo for your whole Spartan, okay? You can then select all these guys here, Control C, and then you will now click on different auto, uh, body parts. And so you'll see this is the blue, this is the blue that matches this color, that is the zone you wanna click and drag and connect to, okay? Gonna take a little bit to adjust. Click the shoulder, same thing. We just paste it in. There you go. Click down, click the arm, make sure it's a different one. Control V to paste it in. There you go. There you go. And you just basically kind of repeat that. Until you get it going and honestly you could even you can even do this really quickly once you have all this connected you can actually just alter your camo pattern uh, and your image and then just drag and drop this into all these little pieces and it's actually a lot quicker to paste that data in um, so it's not going to be at this painful but it's it's a little tedious but i think it's gonna you know depending on the kind of camo pattern you find online you'll get kind of quick at it and it won't be so bad. And you can come up with some really cool different Spartan combos. Um, and this doesn't only affect the colored areas too. If you really wanted to, you could get really crazy and find like, let's, like, let's say these gloves, for instance. I wanna find out like, oh, there's the hand, right? There's the glove. Well, I don't want that to be that color. So now I'm gonna make it so the glove itself is camo patterned, right? So now his glove on his hand is looks all camo-y, and that looks kind of cool, right? So you can kind of mix and match um, different sections, right? So if I got his like torso there, I think I already got it plugged into here, but instead of that, I could maybe find out where, oh, that's that, I don't want to change that color, control Z, what about this color? What is this color? Ah, that's his undersuit a little bit. What about this color? What's that? Okay. Yeah. So that's that's all that zone. All right. And I don't want to change that part. I just want to change this part here. So I'll just keep going until I find what... Oh, that's the part. All right. So I'm going to take this, paste it in. We'll paste it up here. I think it was this one, maybe. Was that the right one? Yeah. So it's changing this zone now. And you can keep going as far as you want with this and kind of go crazy with it. All right. So that's how you, you do that. And you can mix and match different camo patterns if you really wanted to. Let's say I really wanted to get a different kind going. Let's see if I can find a different one and that works. Let's see if this works. Ah, oh, it's Shutterstock. Let's say, uh, let's find a crazy one. Digital camo. Let's find some, I mean, there's gotta be some good ones. Maybe that'll be fine. Yeah, it's fine. It has, it has some stock image stuff in it, but that's fine. So we can call that camo too. All right. Now in Blender, 
I, let's say I want the helmet to be a different pattern now. I'll click the helmet, go back to where the camo is, and this is where the, the image is stored, so I'll click here. And let's see, camo 2. <laughs> That's the wrong one. That did not work. Let's see here. Camo 1, camo 2. Not for sure that saved over, but let's make sure. Oh, it's a WebP. Let me see. We'll save it as camo. Okay, there we go. Let's try that now. Okay, did that work? Maybe not. Obviously, you're gonna take. You're gonna need to play around with it a little bit, but let's find there's got to be some sort of like website you guys can find to find actually a good site to find some good grayscale ones. Nah, that's not that's not very good. Let's see here. Um, tiger pattern, grayscale. This might work. We'll see if this works. Camo 2. All right. That JPEG. Ugh. There it goes. Okay. So, same thing. Kind of just move your little pieces over and depending on the colors of the uh, on the original you just have to mix and match some stuff around to get different amounts and you can obviously make it bigger and get some really good randomization in there but yeah I hope this has helped uh, I know a lot of people are wondering how to make custom camos for their Spartans um, so go nuts and uh, enjoy <laughs>